Hi, welcome to an introduction to setting up a truth table. Notice how there's no truth value for P, R, Q, or there's no S here, but usually you'd see S as well. Let's look at specifically 25. On 25, if I wanted to set up a truth table, this can be kind of confusing the first few times you see it because there's no truth value. I don't even know what R means. I don't know what P means. What in the world am I supposed to do with these letters? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to set up a table that has room for P and R and also has room for not P and not R. And I'm going to leave one space at the end for the question being asked. In this excuse me, in this case, it's asking the question, what is the truth value of P and R, that conjunction? And here's how I would set this up. I need to look at every single possible value, every single possible combination of P and R. So I could have true and true. Usually we start off with true and true. And at the bottom of our table, we end with false and false. And then in the middle, we have our two other options. One could be true, and the other could be false. And the order there does not matter. So they could both be true. They could both be false. Or you could have a mix. One true, one false. Those are my four possible options. And now here's what we're going to do to fill out the rest of the table. We have to look at P. If P is true the not P, the opposite of P, must be false. If R is true, then I'm going to fill out this box, the opposite of R, which is not R. Well, if R is true, not R has to be false. And I'm going to keep going down that list. If P is true, not P is false. And if R is false, then not R must be true. If P is false, not P must be true. And if R is true, not R must be false. And one more time, <clears throat> if, R, if P is false, the opposite is true. And if R is false, the opposite of R is true. And now I'm going to look at each individual row Maybe I should color code these. I'm going to try my best to make these um, colorblind friendly. I know sometimes it's hard to see in specific scenarios. I'm going to try to avoid using colors that can be confusing. Now here I have P and R. I should, you know what, let me, let me change that. P and R, I only need to look at the, the first two sections here. If P and R are both true, that means I have a true statement. But what if one of them is false? Because this is a conjunction, I need both of these to be true. So if one of them is false, it's false. And if they're both false then false and a false gets you a false statement. So what you're going to do is, again, we're really setting up the first four, and then we're just checking on what in the world is the question even asking for. And we just have to check those two rows, or those two uh, cells, to figure out what our answer would be. What if I wanted, let's say... Let's go with 29. Let's, let's change it up. Let's go with 29. If I wanted 29, which is not P and R, well, the only two columns I care about are, or the only, yeah, the middle two columns. These are the only cells I care about, not P and R. So in that first box, that first row, I've got true and false. Well, I need both of these to be true.
for a conjunction to be true, so that's that's false. That doesn't work. False, false also doesn't work. But true, true here, not P and R, this one would work, and the last one would not work. So anytime you're setting up a truth table, what you want to note is the only thing that's going to be different are the letters that are up here. You can change these letters out and whatever the question is asking. But no matter what, you're still going to set up, like I could set up this truth table. I'll just change this. I'll make this whatever letter I want. This could be, you know, T and S and not T and not S. But these four uh, rows are going to be the same. That set of eight cells is going to be the same. And then I just do the opposite. So this doesn't change either. Right, really, these are not changing too much. You set up true, 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 false, false, true, false, false, and then just do the opposite for the last two columns. You're not T and not S. And then whatever the question is, like this could be, you know, T or not S, and you could use those... You could use these cells to answer your question. But no matter what, your, your truth table is always going to start off with the same thing. You'll start off with true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And it doesn't even matter what letters are here, right? It's just whatever the question is asking for. Like if I wanted 26 instead, I would just fill this in with R, Q, not R, not Q, and then I would put my question here, R and Q. And I can just fill this out accordingly. Check out a third video for more examples, and I will see you soon.